Hi, I'm Eric Egley, and welcome to this segment of Tech Tuesday. This past fall, I was at Photoshop World in Vegas with some friends of mine from FJ Westcott. And on the showroom floor, I noticed that a lot of people were carrying around this little plastic billfold looking thing. And uh, I, I asked somebody about it, it piqued my interest, and it ends up, it is called the Color Checker Passport from x -Rite. And before I get started, I want to say that I have no affiliation with x uh, It's just a phenomenal tool, I found out. It's one of those things where I said to myself, I wish I had come up with this. Um, if you're concerned with precise color in your images, then this is the tool for you. It is a little costly. It's about 120 uh, retail, but I'll tell you, it's worth every penny when you get into post-production. Now, there are several plugins that come uh, with it, and they are for Camera Raw and for Lightroom, and I'm pretty sure they probably make one for uh, Aperture also, which you can make presets, and if you have a batch of images that need all the same color correcting, it's, it's a breeze, but I don't want to get into that. What I want to do is talk about um, how I use it in a day-to-day -day basis and how easy it is to color correct a batch of photos. Uh, first off, if you take a look here, it has your standard color swatch and then several different shades of gray, which I can talk about a little bit later. And also, it has a large color swatch, which was specifically designed for digital imaging. Um, so, what I'd like to do is take you into uh, an image, uh, it was a photo shoot that I did this past week where I used the Passport and I use it pretty much on every photo shoot that I, that I shoot. So, let's take a look in Photoshop, see how easy it is, and then we'll go from there. Now that we're in Photoshop, let's take a look here. This is uh, a spokesperson for one of the companies that I was shooting stills for while the video crew was doing the commercials. And this is typical of a first shot uh, during a photo shoot. I would put the color checker in with the talent, do the first shot, and then go from there. This image is a little bit cool. And what we want to do is just go up to our white color picker, our white balance tool. Okay, click on either a mid, mid gray or the white. And you can see it changed the color tone to basically gray neutral or white neutral if you wish. Um, our skin looks a lot better and from there that's all you would have to do is do a select all on our film strip here, do a synchronize and you're done. All of your images from that photo shoot will now be color corrected. Uh, it's that easy. It really is simple. This tool will save you a lot of time. It's efficient um, and it's exact. So uh, it's really, really worth every penny. Um, if you look down here, these color swatches here uh, basically will warm up the image according to uh, your own personal taste. You know, you can play with this. I prefer to start out with a uh, color neutral gray balance and then add the color tone in uh, Photoshop once I start post-production. So that's it. That's all you have to uh, really do. It's that quick, that simple. Like I said, the plugins will will make presets where you don't even have to go to this extent. Uh, you simply load up your images with the preset and uh, it's done automatically. So uh, it, it's well worth checking out. I would really um, suggest seriously considering it. It's a great tool. It's made my life a lot easier when I'm sitting down at a computer. Thank you for joining me for this segment of Tech Tuesday. Don't forget to check out my website, ericegleyphotography.com. And remember, I'll be posting fo Photoshop pointers coming up the first Friday of every month. Thanks again.